Right now, people are calling 311 saying, what's going on with Terminal Tower? Right. Why is it yellow and black? Um, so, really, you'd have to understand the rivalry right. between the Eagles and the Giants mm -hmm. to understand how truly offensive that was to most New Yorkers. And the equivalent is if Terminal Tower was ever lit black and yellow to celebrate the Steelers going to a Super Bowl, uh, you, would, you would literally have your weather word for today. You would have a full-on revolt. <laughs> this revolt. city would storm Terminal Tower. They would. They would want. They would take the top off. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> they I'm would. not sure, but they would. Yeah, okay. so there's your weather word, so my we'll friend. So we'll re revolt into the forecast. Revolt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if uh, the director and producer could remind me in the forecast to say that word, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, CSU cam right now. Look at the glimmering sunshine we've had today. There's our, uh, what time is it? 518 flight in from Phoenix heading into Hopkins right now. Layer of clouds coming through. Don't get used to that, though. We've got sunshine back in the forecast as we go throughout the daytime tomorrow. Couple waves of some high clouds here and there, but what a difference. I hope you guys don't mind if I start sharing some personal photos here. Uh, this was my house plant this morning. I'm sure everyone's house plants are just thriving with these clouds we've had. I told my wife it usually turns this color this time of year. She said it doesn't look healthy at all. You need to throw that thing out, but I'm telling you a little sunshine today. I'm sure your house plant did the same thing by afternoon. This thing was climbing the steps. The kids were hidden underneath this thing, so I'm sure a lot of you are enjoying that sunshine and your house plants are as well. We've got more sunshine ahead. In terms of the sun today, you can see, yeah, we had a lot of sunshine today, some high clouds down towards the south. We even had a little bit of snow in Cuyahoga County. My gut says it was factory effect snow because of the factories just south of the city. When I was driving in, you could see it, and it was producing a cloud that was producing some snowflakes. And you notice how it just kind of sat around just south of downtown today. Didn't accumulate too much, but there were snowflakes in the air. Doesn't take much in a cold air mass. Even a little poof of some moisture from a smokestack can create a little bit of snow. So that was an interesting feature today. But you notice how we're in the sunshine here. This is snow cover. You know that when it's not moving on the satellite. But overall, it was nice to see. It it gets a lot worse as you get down towards the south. In fact, Tennessee, the deep south, back towards Texas, not only do they have this icy mess, this is wave two of three, but they're also locked into the clouds. We're not far off from in a completely cloudy week around here, so we really do fall into a nice place on the weather map. The trade-off is we have Arctic air. Arctic air doesn't hold a lot of moisture, and that's what we have right now is air that doesn't hold a lot of moisture, but it's cold, and those cold numbers will continue here. We'll moderate a little bit, but we'll get back to it this week. You notice how we've got temperatures, generally 20s and teens. Locally, more of the same. We're going to fall back into the teens pretty quickly here this evening under those clear skies, but the number that really matters, that's the wind chill, and it's it's more like seven in Elyria right now, 11 downtown. So wind chill values tonight as you're heading on out to dinner. Yeah, it stays cold. The wind isn't that gusty. That's some good news. Here's tomorrow morning at the bus stop sitting around seven degrees. We will moderate tomorrow. More sunshine in the forecast. Your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast bringing in perhaps some lake effect flurries tonight as that cold air spills over the lake. We'll make it up near 30 tomorrow. Bonus territory with some sun. High clouds will fill in later in the day as that system down towards the south does its thing. And then Thursday will be our warmer day of the week. A lot of you probably thinking, uh, planning a revolt around here because of all the clouds. Don't do it because we've got sunshine. Look at this tomorrow, 80% sun. We're going to give you 40% sun on Thursday. Ditto that on Friday. Despite the snow, we should have some sunshine around Saturday, more sunshine. So get used to the sun. However, we've got more cold. As I mentioned, one more blast of cold. This one's really going to hit New England. High temperatures likely in the minus 20 degree range in spots upstate New York. How about that? That will head on out and then the cold retreats back up into Canada where we like it this time of year. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. The groundhog may not see a shadow of the clouds over in Punxsutawney. It'll be around 36 degrees, turning much colder on Friday. And then for the weekend, a quick rebound 30 on Saturday up into the 40s Sunday and Monday with some rain and snow chances. So much like January's gone, we don't have a whole lot of staying power with the cold mm -hmm. air around here, guys. OK, uh, if he sees his shadow, is that good or bad? I always forget if and he sees it's not good. Six more might. weeks of winter. Oh, OK, if he doesn't so see it. It's still six more weeks of winter. Let's be honest. Yeah, she I know Betsy about this, but she refused to answer. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I told you six she literally <laughs> threw yeah. an adult hissy fit. It's a scam. I'm not making Betsy that up. Like She's it. like, I'm not answering that question, Crawford. <laughs> <laughs>